Yo, Rod here, Futures 8-Bit, doing five random games on a slightly random spectrum. This spectrum isn't my daily drive. It's going to a, a YouTuber. I was going to say a fellow YouTuber. <laughs> I've got like four viewers. Um, no, it's going to a YouTuber I watch, and I've, I, I said I'd get sorted my ages ago and never got round to it. Finally found a spectrum. It works. I've done a quick refurb on it, which includes the following. Just changing the drive belt, everything else worked. M1 line was tested, obviously. I've done a rant about that. Do not buy a Spectrum on eBay for £300 unless they can prove to you the M1 line works because you're going to need it. And a joystick interface does not use the M1 line. Rant ends. Anyway, um, so this is about the fourth attempt at this video, unfortunately. I know what the first game is, and I know the first game is awesome. And it's also called Armageddon, so spoiler alert, it's n this game's not so random because I've already played it. Sorry. But I keep having to stop the video. Anyway, so here we go. Yeah, but what I was saying in my previous video before I got rudely interrupted is this game is awesome. <laughs> so yeah, Armageddon, I wasn't expecting this actually. I was expecting, yeah, I don't know, Space Invader everything. Not as Asteroids, no. Missile Command, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, Missile Command. And this is quite a good Missile Command. It's really good, in fact. I like it a lot. So, yeah, shock, shock. Definite shock that this is, one, Missile Command, and two, quite good. And, um, yeah, in the previous video that I had to cut short, I did say that I'm going to now have to play this on the Atari. And I then mentioned um, that I've been sorting out my new office stroke room, and I have different capture gear in there. I don't want to fill that room up with too much junk. It needs to be a room where I can actually kind of chill out because I don't ever get to wind down. And uh, so I'm going to have a wind down room, but I'll be able to do my video editing in there and a little bit of uh, capturing. Uh, but, you know, in this room I can capture, I think, nine different formats by just switching things off and on. You know, everything's all cabled, ready to go, really. Um, it's amazing the quality of the content so bad though isn't it but uh yeah so um yeah hopefully um i'll be in the new room soon for some of this stuff but um yeah in the meantime i'm in here thoroughly enjoying armageddon which is in fact missile command for the spectrum and everybody loves a missile command especially one that's not too bad on the joystick. Oh, that's a fresh one there. And there. Oh, there's a cheeky low one there. Oh, I think you might be able to steer the bullet. I'm not sure. Or the rocket. Because <sighs> you've got a limited number of shots at the bottom of the screen there. I figured that out. You had a limited number on the Atari as well, didn't you, though? Yeah, so if you if you leave the joystick where it is, it, the, the gunshot just follows. Oh, no, it doesn't. It comes in... Oh, it literally changes its path. I bet they did that to stop Atari getting annoyed. They probably didn't. But I'm liking it, honestly. I don't think I've ever played... Um, Missile Command on a Spectrum. And this is good. I'm not very good. The game's good. Oh no. Oh, I thought that was it. I hope you guys load this one up. Some of the noises are very tired. Never going to get that one. He did. Pow. Pew pew. Oh, it's a branching one. This was such a game. I mean, I remember renting this game for the Atari 2600. Yes, renting 2600 games. seem to remember, yeah, renting that, and we also rented Superman, the game, which was utter crap. 
probably. Ah. Yeah, but you used to, used to be able to rent 2600 games because they were so expensive. You think games are expensive now? You ain't got a clue. I think, I think, um, Atari games were about 40 quid each back in the early 80s. People barely earned that a week. Yes, I'm that old. But this, though, I'm really impressed. I'm, I mean, I've, I think I've already outplayed this. I think I've played this for too many minutes now, considering this is a five random games video. It's not all about clearance. It's more of a case of giving it a go. But I'm liking this a lot. Oh, but my eyes are just going slightly funny now because of the cyan background with the ripply lines on the CRT here. Oh, man. It's either an eye test or eye torture. Ooh! Ooh! Brown! Oh, he's quite red on the CR on the capture. Woo! Oh, man! Should I try and play the next bit via... Like other people do. I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to play it via the capture screen. So let, let's see what happens now. I'm gonna run. Like, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna play it via my capture screen. Right. Oh. Oh my God. <gasps> How can anybody do this? I've no. Right. I'm going back to live. That is ridiculous. That was so far out. Okay. Let's try and clear a bit, and maybe I'll give that another go. That was horrible. Right. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the other screen now. No, I'm not, because I'm going to die. Wow. Okay, hats off to anybody that can actually play a game, including... Right, so I'm going to press right. Right. Nothing's out. Left. Wow. Yeah, I can't... I have to play this live on my CRT, not via the capture screen, otherwise it's all bad. Wow. How do people do that? Oops. Do, 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 do. I'm going to die. Oh, I just wasted all of the shots. I said shots. Oh, D. Is it game over? Oh, no, that's that's still a building, isn't it? That's good. I thought it was rubble. Ah, you think you could beat me? Oh, I'm running out of bullets. <gasps> oh, yeah, that'll help, won't it? Oh, it did help. Oh, nearly got ten. Eh? The end? Hmm, okay. Well, you must play Armageddon. It's actually, um... Missile Command. Got it, got it, got it. My brain cut in. Right, so... This is going to be awful, right? C5 Clive. What a load of crap. Going to be. Okay, 985. Scorpio Games. Oh, I like that. Hmm. Kempston joystick, my bottom. Ooh! Instructions, I suppose, because... Instructions. One day, on the way home from work, a local software house, uh, blah, 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 man, they... Oh, God, I'm already bored. Oh, that was the keys. <laughs> I'm not reading any of that, am I? There was, it was definitely keys, though, wasn't it? Learn a driver. I didn't press a single key. I was just sat here in amazement of how awful this is. Oh, I went down. Up, down. There's up and down. Oh, no. Oh, what? The sky is bad. This is possibly the worst game ever. Don't know what I pressed there. Right. Oh, I didn't press anything. Every opportunity to make a lot of noise, though. 
Oh! Tits. Pardon my French. Oh, I needed that. Oh, that's good. Now, I want to go the other way. Uh, 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 uh. Right, I've got to try and find the forward and back key. There's got to be a accelerate brake key, right? Oh, right, so we can go faster. We can pedal faster. Right, now I understand. Now, I'm definitely going to go back into the menus now. I'm going to keep my stop. Stop as in crash. Right, let's load this again then. We're not giving up just yet. Even though this game deserves to be given up on. Instructions. Boring. 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 Oh, it's just three keys. So pedal and jump. No, I'm not reading the rest of it. Oh, well, there's lots of screens apparently. Right, so okay, it was only three keys, pedal and jump. Can we get on with it? Right, so now we know that we go, whoosh, 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 and that's good. Why is there a ghost? Good. Oh, uh, oh, jumping the car. <gasps> okay, it turns out this is the best game ever. Isn't it funny how that always happens? Go! I'm so fast. And jump the car. <laughs> All that frustration. It's cats. Is it cats? Is it cats? What is it? Is it cats? Is it cats? What is it? What is it? Is it cats? Oh, bum 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 bum. Oh. C5 Clive is actually very good. <laughs> this got a bit of a bugger. Uh, reminds me of um, uh, Psycho Shopper for the Vic 20 because every level was more bizarre and more difficult than the previous. I love Psycho Shopper. For I love everything from the Vic 20. You all know this. Right, we're going to have another go because C5 Clive is ace. We're going to go for Sunday Driver this time. Is it the same? Is it a different map? No, it's exactly the same. There's your battery, which is some freaking great lead acid seriously it is one of those mad things that if if they brought this car out as a similar time to when the segways came out i think a car tricycle um at the same time as the segways came out it'd be a different thing they're not expensive enough to fool people into the you know the musk form of transport obviously but um yeah, I mean, how many bikes, push bikes out there now aren't battery assisted because you can have reasonable power in a small amount of space. Blah, blah, blah. Of course, I would add jetpacks and petrol. It's easier. But no. Uh, somebody buy me an electric car. I've driven a few. They're all right. It's just um, I don't need another car. So I don't have one. Oh, ah, Betty. Right. I think we might be done for C Clive 5. C Clive 5, Clive C5. C5 Clive. Alright, one more. One, just one more. One more. Go. Shut up. Problem is, is beside, behind the scenes here at Futures 8 Bit, I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. That was a maneuver. C Clive would have. Love that. S Clive. Hi, I'm S Clive. Right, do we have to get the battery? Wee! This is where I bummed it before. Good. Bum! Oh, I did it. <sighs> oh, left a skid mark up his windscreen. How many times have you said that today? Hmm? Skid marks on your windscreen. I pressed the wrong keys. Batteries or battery? Oh, batteries. I should say battery there. It should just bad English and I'm illiterate. I want to go above that cat. I can't get through that gap. Anyway, um, 
You must play C5 Fives 5. That's actually good. C5 Clive. There we go. Dead Enders. Alright, what's this? East Enders tribute. Please don't load. Oh, it's loaded. This is just going to suck, isn't it? Oh. Copyright boring. Oh. It's a freaking text adventure about EastEnders. I tell you what, if Brexit wasn't bad enough, I mean, what now, Gov? Oh, seriously, no, I am not playing a text adventure based on EastEnders. No. That, that's, a, that's a mood altering thing, isn't it? That's just a no. Right, next, gotcha. Right. Uh, Kempston joystick, please. What the frig? Alright, I'm the guy there. So I guess we're in prison. And these guys have got massive cones sticking out of their bellies. Oh. Alright, so you can... Yeah, alright. So, you, you, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm understanding. It's the yellow bit that hurts. Are they weeing? So what's this then? Bad. Gotcha's the best game ever. Who oh, no. knew? Oh, it makes me, it, it's making me all um, twitchy. Oh, I want shredded wheat now. Why is that look, do you think? Shredded wheat with an inch of sugar on top, just like I did when I was a kid. Start you off for your good day. Remember when he used to advertise sugar as being healthy for kids? Oh, hey! Actually, that's a good point. So I'm getting to the bottom of the thing, and I'm assuming that I have to go past that, but I don't know, do I? Watch out for the wee wee. Bum. One zero one ten zero. Uh. Right. Okay. Let's go again then. It's wee hour. We go on that safe there. You see, that doesn't seem like that should be safe, but it is safe. Bum! That was so stupid. Oh, keep running. Oh, no, Betty, no! Weed in the head there. It's one of these games that, yeah, the noise is, um... Helps with the, uh... Panic. What? I literally just walked, did that on purpose. I got bored then. Right, I'm going to do it in one. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> one zero. One was... What? Don't get that. I don't get it. Don't get it. Right, now, calm down. You've done this before. It's easy. It's only a Sinclair Spectrum game. <sighs> All the years I honed pressing fruit machine buttons at exactly at the right time just to beat bugs in software. And now I can't do this. <laughs> you can tell I'm thinking and concentrating because I've gone quiet. Aside from that, I'm doing a wee. You decide. I'm also looking underneath the glasses that I'm not wearing. <laughs> the extra placebo effect. Right, I'm going to get this now. I'm going to get this. I'm move my chair. What was that? I'm missing something here, right? Yeah, I can do this. I can do this. I'm like, I'm, no. No. 
No. Can I jump or anything? Oh, no. Ooh. I just want to find out. Alright, you can't even step off the ladder. Okay, right. I'm the best at this game. <laughs> now I've said that they're weeing. Ah, I wonder if they're all called Jamie. How come I managed to do that at the beginning and now I can't get the timing right? So when do I run? When it's hit the bottom or...? See, Mr. Chinny Vision would have um, edited 15 hours of him running into that, so he got through it. I'm not saying he's a cheat. <laughs> not at all. But I don't edit my videos. I really don't. I should. That's probably why nobody watches them, because they're all appalling. Um, since I've been doing these videos, I've got a greater appreciation for even the YouTubers I'm not interested in. How much work must go into trying to upload some half decent content, unlike my crap. No! Just, 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 no. All I can think about now is Weetabix and shredded wheat and bacon sandwiches. You know, I even think I've got a sausage in the fridge. I am starving. And I can't get past the, the wee people. All the shredded wheat come frosties. Frosties? No, that's a different vegetable altogether. No! I, I am trying to stop. That sounds like I'm trying to give something up. I've given up everything that needed giving up. I just need to give up everything else that also needs giving up. Like 8-bit computers should be banned, especially we cannon torch people. I want that as a t-shirt. Somebody get that done as a t-shirt, the guys doing the, the Wii torches. No, and why did I even do that? That was mental. And I've done it again. I'm literally just... <laughs> no! No! Dear people of the internet, I am frustrated. <laughs> right, this, this is all going to be good now. It's all going to be good. And in a minute, I'm going to be eating a sausage sandwich. What was that? Okay, one more go. And then I'm going to have to move on to another game. And I will come back to this because this is clearly a great game. But all I can think about is sausages right now. And there's another game to go after this. So either I'm going to do this now and then be awesome. Awesome. Not awesome. Because I believe there is one more game. It might not be. Not paying attention as usual. See, I could edit this and... Now it sounds like I'm ranting at somebody, but I'm not. I don't actually watch a lot of... Uh, general... computery uh, content at the moment. I've gone more to the, uh, well, just random crap, to be honest, I think. <sighs> now that was the joystick. That wasn't. Is there only one level? Is this game so hard there's only one level? That's, that's what it is. Misfit wrote it. Right. Okay, he does a time check. 24 minutes. Too long. Is there another game? So that was Gotcha. That's going back in. Void Runner. Uh, Jeff Minner. No. Kemp's and Joystick, please. Oh, I like that other game. I was rubbish at it. 1987. Ooh, that's a nice effect. Enter. Level. Yak. This is a Jeff game, then. Look, oh, I asked to be. Look at that. Hello. Is that bad? 
No, that's all right. Okay, so it's centipede with more lasers and eyes. Wow, there's a lot going on here. How can you get the spectrum to do all of this at once? Spectrums have only got like one fasts in them. Yeah, this is a thing, isn't it, eh? Full of all the pew pew pews. I don't think I've ever seen this before, you know, this game. I'm assuming I have to clear everything on the screen, or is it just these uh, fellas? There's a flashing egg there. What does that do? Killed it. Alright, so we, do have, we are in screen clearing mode. Ah, uh, right. So if you send two shots in the same area, you can generally do a bit of uh, clean-up. Oh, so the bullets even... It's all going on. The bullets are changing cycle. For some reason, I've got a green one now. Um, why have I got a green one, ladies and germs? Dunno. I've always had a green one. <laughs> Don't ask your doctor that. Ooh, Betty. Wow. Seriously, can you imagine playing this on your old black and white? You'd be getting half a game. Seriously, this is very um, mesmerising as well. That's what Jeff's all about, isn't it? This is a Jeff game, isn't it? It says yak, it has to be. Oh, fire button finger. Left hand control now. Dead. So, the, yeah, I'd say this was a, a semi-successful round, five random games then, because there's definitely a couple of games I'm going to have to go back to, including this now. Um, honestly, this is all going on. Here, yeah, Geiger Punk, I think you might like this one if you haven't played it already, mate. Um, yeah. Seriously, I'm literally staring deep into the screen sort of using the power of the mind there's so much going on you've got to avoid yeah it's a damn fine game so yeah if you haven't done already make sure you visit oh that's perfect timing look at that effect honestly look at that on a spectrum I'm going to press a key. So this is not Mastertronic. This feels like this should be done by Jeff Minter. But it's not, is it? Mmm. More, more should be found out about this game and more should be played. But this video's got too long, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to come back to it. So, yeah, Rod Hull, Futures 8-Bit, signing off now. Visit futures8bit.com. If you have a Spectrum with a working M1 line, mm, um, and obviously buy yourself a Div MMC Future, but if you're not sure if you've got a working M1 line, maybe pick up a Z80 chip at the same time. Might not be a bad idea if you bought one from an eBay reseller. So, anyway, until the next time, goodbye.